15 things you didn't know about Virgin. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some interesting and surprising facts about one of the most successful venture capital conglomerates in the world. Let's talk about the Virgin Group. In 1970, the Virgin brand was born when Richard Branson and his business partners established a record shop on London's Oxford Street. In 1973, the business expanded into a record label, which really took off when Branson signed British punk group The Sex Pistols. The success of the record label led to the creation of the Virgin Atlantic Airline and the Virgin Group. Richard Branson is now an incredibly successful billionaire that has overseen approximately 500 companies that have operated under the Virgin name, about 400 of which are still in operation today. These companies collectively earned over $26 billion in 2016. Some of the most recognizable branches of the Virgin Group include Virgin Mobile, Virgin Atlantic, Virgin Hotels, and Virgin Galactic. The company continues to expand in a wide variety of directions, including transportation, technology, entertainment, racing and sports, space travel, and more. We are inspired by Virgin's incredible success, ability to adapt, willingness to take a risk, and forward-thinking nature. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We can't wait to see what the Virgin Group does next. But for now, let's take a closer look at this incredibly diverse company with the 15 things you didn't know about Virgin. Number 1. Virgin almost had a different name. When Richard Branson and his business partners were trying to come up with a name for their music company, they decided on the name Slipped Disc Records. But they had the foresight at the time to recognize that the name wouldn't fit so well with the other industries they were hoping to expand into in the future. For example, Slipped Disc Airlines doesn't have a great ring to it. So instead, they decided that since they were all virgins in business, that their company should be called Virgin as well. Number 2. Branson entered his first business venture at 11 years old. When Richard Branson was young, his family didn't have much money, which his mother said was a very good thing because it gave Richard an entrepreneurial spirit. His first business venture was when he was 11 years old. He planted 1,000 seeds, hoping to grow Christmas trees he could sell. Unfortunately, rabbits ate the seedlings. Then he attempted to breed and sell a type of parrot, but Richard says that rats ate his birds. His first successful business venture was a magazine he started when he was 15 years old, called Student. He sold 50,000 copies of his first issue. Number 3. Virgin Records' first album was used in the soundtrack of The Exorcist. When Branson was 23 years old, he wanted to branch out into the recording business. He convinced friends and family to give him startup capital for the endeavor and signed an unknown artist named Mike Oldfield. Together, they cut Virgin's first album in 1973, a very unique record called Tubular Bells. The record became one of the biggest selling albums of the decade, and it was chosen to be featured on the soundtrack of the blockbuster film The Exorcist in 1973. The track that was used has become the song that is most associated with the film. The album has sold more than 15 million copies worldwide. Number 4. The Sex Pistols originally declined to work with Virgin. By the end of the 1970s, Branson was looking to shape up Virgin's image, and he set his sights on the crude, irreverent, hardcore British punk band The Sex Pistols. They originally declined his offer, but were booted off their label shortly after band members swore repeatedly during a live broadcast interview in London. Virgin was one of the only labels willing to sign the controversial group, and the move paid off big time. Although the band only lasted two and a half years, they helped Virgin become relevant in the record-producing game, and also attracted other big names to the label, including Boy George, Phil Collins, Genesis, The Smashing Pumpkins, Janet Jackson, and The Rolling Stones. Number 5. 40 Guinness World Records were set at the 2017 Virgin Money London Marathon. Virgin Money holds a London Marathon every year, and 2018 will be the 11th year in a row that Guinness World Records has partnered with Virgin Money to certify the race participants who successfully achieve a world record. Because of this opportunity, dozens of racers every year attempt to set a record. 
In 2017, 40 new Guinness World Record titles were achieved with attempts by 73 runners. The unique records achieved in 2017 include fastest marathon in a helicopter costume, fastest marathon wearing Wellington boots, fastest marathon in a five-person costume, and fastest marathon carrying a household appliance. Number 6. Virgin Vodka Was One of Virgin's Many Failures Richard Branson is not afraid to take a risk, so it's no surprise that some of his ventures have failed spectacularly. Virgin Vodka was introduced as a part of the Virgin Drinks line that was launched back in 1994. It failed along with other Virgin drinks like the Virgin Energy Shot, Virgin Vines, and a fizzy alcoholic drink called Virgin Ooze. The entire Virgin Drinks line folded in 2007. The one Virgin Drink line that did take off was Virgin Wines, which is expected to make over $70 million a year by 2018. Number 7. Branson Drove a Tank Through Times Square in a Publicity Stunt Another one of Virgin's failures was Virgin Cola, but it was quite successful before it was eventually driven out of business by Coca-Cola. In 1998, after Virgin started outselling Pepsi and Coca-Cola in Britain, Branson wanted to come up with a bold publicity stunt to introduce the cola in the US market. The Virgin team decided Branson would drive a tank through Times Square in New York City, over three tons of stacked Coca-Cola cans, while pretending to fire a gun at the Coca-Cola sign, which was wired with explosives to make it appear as if it was exploding. This, of course, angered Coca-Cola, and Branson said he learned not to underestimate the power of the world's leading soft drink makers. Coca-Cola ensured that Virgin Cola collapsed, but it was still sold in certain countries like Japan, Afghanistan, France, Italy, and China, where bottling companies purchased licensing deals. Number 8. Richard Branson Wore a Wedding Dress to Launch Virgin Brides Another venture the Virgin Group tried was Virgin Brides, which launched in England in 1996. When the first wedding dress store opened, Branson shaved his beard and put on a wedding dress, and a picture of Branson in the dress was used as publicity. The last Virgin Bride store closed in 2007, and Branson joked that maybe the picture put people off the idea. Number 9. Branson Cried When He Sold Virgin Records for $1 Billion Branson has said that he is emotionally invested in each of his companies, and Virgin Records is where it all began. Despite the fact that he sold the company for $1 billion to Thorne EMI in 1992, it wasn't tears of joy that were streaming down his face at the time. Branson said he hates selling things because a company is basically a group of people, so he becomes emotional in these situations. He had to make the difficult decision to sell the company in order to expand and protect his airline brand. Number 10. Virgin Started a Social Media Site Years Before Facebook Virgin Student was a social media site before the term social media even existed. The site was launched in 2000 with features such as profiles, photo albums, friending groups, and messaging. Sound familiar? The site actually had hundreds of thousands of members before it shut down in 2005 after a series of technical breakdowns and the increased popularity of MySpace. Facebook was formed four years after Virgin's social site was launched, and if you want to find out more about the social media site, click in the upper right-hand corner to watch our video of 15 things you didn't know about Facebook. Number 11. Virgin Invested in Hyperloop One Hyperloop One is a company that hopes to build a super-fast transportation system that will allow people to move faster on land than in an airplane. In 2017, Richard Branson announced that the Virgin Group would be investing in the company, which will be rebranded as Virgin Hyperloop One. The transportation system will theoretically allow passengers to travel 600 to 700 miles per hour. Number 12. The Saudi Government is Investing $1 Billion in Virgin Galactic in October 2017, it was announced that the Saudi government would be investing $1 billion into Virgin Galactic, which is Richard Branson's space travel company. Part of the investment will also go towards Virgin's spaceship company, which is building space vehicles, and Virgin Orbit, which plans to offer launch services for small satellites. The Virgin Group says there's potential for a space-centric entertainment industry in Saudi Arabia. Number 13. Virgin is creating a fleet of supersonic commercial jets. 
The Virgin Group is teaming up with aerospace startup Boom to develop a new fleet of supersonic commercial jets that can travel at more than twice the speed of sound. These jets would be able to travel from New York to London in just three and a half hours, with tickets costing $5,000 per seat. But don't get too excited just yet. The jets are still in the research and development stage. Number 14. Virgin Voyages began building their first cruise ship in 2017. Virgin Voyages is the new cruise line from the Virgin Group that was announced back in 2015. In 2017, construction began on their first cruise ship, which is temporarily titled the Virgin One. Virgin Voyages has three ships on order at a total of $2.55 billion. The first cruise is scheduled to depart from Miami in 2020. Number 15. Virgin gave free flights to a baby born on their airplane. Although it's a rare occurrence, a certain number of babies are born every year on airplanes when they are in flight. Occasionally, when these babies are born, an airline recognizes them in some way or gives them special privileges like free flights. Two babies have been born on Virgin Atlantic flights since it was established in 1984. In 2012, a woman flying from the United Kingdom to Johannesburg unexpectedly went into labor. The crew set up pillows and blankets at the back of the plane and helped her deliver a baby boy. Virgin gave the child free flights up until the day he turns 21. Now that you've learned more about Virgin, we'd like to know, which part of their business are you the most excited about? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. Richard Branson has been called the undisputed king of the publicity stunt, and there's plenty of evidence as to why this is the case. One example is when he set a world record in 2004 by driving an amphibious car across the English Channel from Dover to Calais in just one hour and 40 minutes. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.